contestant together with a guest of honor and commencement speaker. Please remain standing for the doxology to be rendered by the Levites Chorale.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. Once again, the Levites Chorale for the Malvar Hymn. Please be seated. Once again, a wonderful morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Batanga State University, the National Engineering University's 54th commencement exercises here at JPLPC Malvar Campus. This year, 
we espouse the theme expanding mandates for national competitiveness and sustainable development. At this juncture, the respective deans and OIC deans will present the candidates for graduation. First, we have Mr. Glenn A. Karaig, OIC Dean of the College of Industrial Technology to present the candidates from the college. Good morning, Mr. President. I have the honor to present for your confirmation the candidates for graduation under the College of Industrial Te Technology JPLTC Malvar Campus. Bachelor of Industrial Technology Vocational Training Course, major in Electrical Technology. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, major in Mechanical Technology. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, major in Electrical Technology. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, major in Computer Technology. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, major in Civil Technology. They have successfully completed all the academic requirements of their respective curricula as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education and approved by the Board of Regents. Mr. President, the candidates for graduation. Ms. Sheila Marie G. Garcia, OIC Dean from the College of Informatics and Computing Sciences will present the candidates for graduation from the college. Mr. President, I have the honor to present for your confirmation the candidates for graduation under the College of Informatics and Computing Sciences, JPLPC Malvar Campus. From Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, major in Service Management. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, major in Business Analytics and Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. They have successfully completed all the academic requirements of their respective curricula as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education and approved by the Board of Regents. Mr. President, the candidates for graduation. Dr. Nora V. Marasigan, Dean, College of Teacher Education, will present the candidates from the college. Mr. President, I have the honor to present for your confirmation the candidates for graduation under the College of Teacher Education, JPLPC Malvar Campus. Bachelor of Elementary Education, major in content course. Bachelor of Physical Education. Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. Mathematics. Sciences. Social Studies. They have successfully completed all the academic requirements of their respective curricula as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education and approved by the Board of Regents. Mr. President, the candidates for graduation. Engineer Norks in El Montalbo, Dean of the College of Engineering, will present the candidates from the college. Mr. President, I have the honor to present for your confirmation the candidates for graduation under the College of Engineering, JPLPC Malvar Campus. Bachelor of Science in Mechatronics Engineering. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. 
they have successfully completed all the academic requirements of their respective curricula as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education and approved by the Board of Regents. Mr. President, the candidates for graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, the University President for the confirmation of the graduates. By virtue of the authority based upon me by the Board of Regents of Batanga State University, the National Engineering University, and upon recommendation of the University Academic Council, I, Dr. Tirso Eronquillo, University President, now confirm you graduates with all the rights, honors, privileges, and obligations appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Let us give another warm round of applause to our dear graduates. <laughs> graduates, please be seated. May I call on once again our university president to deliver his message and to formally introduce to you our guest of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, our University President, Dr. Tirso A. Ronquillo. To our distinguished guest speaker, whom I will be introducing a little later, the members of the Board of Regents, the Vice Presidents, Chancellors of Constituent Campuses, Executive Directors, members of the faculty, administrative staff, college dean, parents, graduate, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First, allow me, allow me to congratulate our graduates this morning. I know that uh, you really waited for this, to make this face-to-face. -face. Congratulations to all of you. And of course, isa rin po nating binabati at alam ko maligayang maligaya sila ngayon ay ang ating mga magulang. Palakpakan po natin ang ating mga magulang. Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Gaya na lagi kong sinasabi, sa totoo na lang naman, ang graduation ay para sa mga magulang. Dahil sila ang totoong nag-graduate ngayong araw na ito. Graduate na sa pagbibigay ng gastusin, pagbibigay ng uh, support, ano? And siguro, graduate na rin sa pag-aalaala kung makakatapos ba kayo o hindi. Sa wakas, sa biyaya ng Diyos, sila ay nakatapos din. Nakatapos na rin ang pagsasabi minsan, mag-aral ka naman, kumusta ka na ba? No? And uh, dahil dyan, muli ay palakpakan natin ang ating mga magulang. After more than two years of pandemic, I know our graduates now have sense of fulfillment and extreme joy. Two years, marami sa inyo siguro four years yung degree. And two years of them were taken pre-pandemic. Two years of them, this pandemic. And uh, siguro meron kayong iba-ibang karanasan, ano? Yung iba ay talagang actively, talagang nagpipilit, makakonek sa internet. Yung iba naman, talagang okay lang na kahit walang connection. Ano? Minsan niya, tumatago pa sa teacher. Ano? Nagpapatay ng video pag tinatawag para hindi malaman kung siya ba ay may alam o wala. Sa biyaya ng Diyos, talagang nakatapos din tayo. Ano? Nakaraos din sa pagganon-ganon, dalawang taon na pagganon-ganon. And uh, sabi ko nga ay uh, siguro yung iba sa inyo may member ng family, may mahal sa buhay na namatay dahil sa COVID. Ano? May kaibigan kayo, mahal nyo sa buhay. And hindi ko alam sa inyo mga mag-aaral na nagtapos ngayon kung meron kayong kaklase na hindi nyo nakasama dahil namatay dahil sa COVID. Talaga nakakapag-alaala naman. Iba-iba na ngayon kasi meron na tayong bakuna, meron na tayong mga booster shots, 
Pero noong una, at the onset of pandemic, I think it was in March no, 2020, when our lockdown started, it was really scary. No? Yung lumabas, okay. And uh, sabi ko nga, talagang ang graduation na ito ay bonus na sa ating lahat. Dahil yung iba ay nawala, tayo naman ay narito at tatanggap ng ating diploma physically. And because of that, marami tayong dapat pasalamatan. Ang ating mga guro na talagang nagtsaga sa atin sa loob ng dalawang taon, sila mismo ay nakikioperate sa administration in redesigning their contents. Even redesigning the assessment, calibrating the assessments. Kasi iba yung modality and because of that, yung iba, kailangang mag-digitize nung kanilang content. Kasi yung iba nilang mga notes, mga notes pa nila nung college, ay eh, nagpupunit-punit na siguro. Talagang pinagtsatsagaan pa rin. Dahil dyan, kailangang i-encode, i-digitize para magamit sa ating online learning. Yung iba naman siguro, talagang ipinaserox na lang din and then ipinadalang module doon sa walang connection. And uh, I personally thank our teachers for really committing themselves to reach out our graduates, our students who are now graduates. Palakpakan natin ang ating mga teachers, ang ating mga guro. And of course, yung mga kasama natin, yung mga kasama ko sa administration, they really took uh, due diligence. Ini-align ang lahat sa pandemic. Even our resources, even yung ating facilities, even yung ating mga spaces, that we really need to ensure continuity of services, specifically for our teachers and employee, na kailangang sumweldo. Sila ay napunta rito kahit pandemic at talagang ginagawa ang payroll. So, ganun din sa from the chancellor down, sa lahat ng mga admin official dito, thank you very much for really giving yourselves for the continuity of service to Batanga State University, employee, faculty, and students. So maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And of course, nagpapasalamat tayo sa ating buong lumikha dahil tayo ay binayaan ng buhay. Ispared tayo sa nagdaang pandemya. Bagaman meron pa rin mga ilang-ilang cases ngayon that we are advised really to take extra care pa din. So nagpapasalamat tayo sa Diyos sa maraming biyaya at inalaw na mangyari ang araw na ito upang tayo ay sumaksi sa ating pagtatapos kasama ang ating mga magulang. Ngayon pong umaga, hayaan niyong ipakilala ko sa inyo ang ating panauhing pandangal. Ngunit bago ako dumako sa tuluyang pagpapakilala sa kanya, hayaan po ninyo na pasalamatan ko muna ang ating uh, guest of honor speaker, si Kong Maitet Colyantes. Maraming salamat po for arranging and managing your time to be with us today and address our graduates, including our parents. Maraming salamat po. This honorable person is a bona fide Batangenya who hails from Tanawan. She is the wife of former congressman and now city mayor of Tanawan, the Honorable Sani Culiantes, also our friend. Their union is blessed with, bless them with five children, all of whom are law degree holders. She worked in San Miguel Corporation as an executive secretary from 1974 to 1980. She then became the vice president and treasurer of Tanawan Institute Incorporated, a private institution that they now own. From 2007 to 2016, she was the chairman of the board and president of Tanawan Institute Incorporated. And now, as political affairs officer three of her husband, former Congressman Sani Colantes in the 15th and 16th Congresses. She finished her executive course in legislation at the UP National College of Public Administration in Governance, Center for Policy and Executive Development 
in July 2016. She represented the 3rd District of Batangas in the House of Representatives as Congresswoman in the 17th and 18th Congresses. She currently is the representative of the district in the 19th Congress. She holds significant roles in various House representative committees. He was deputy majority leader, ex officio member to all committees. Vice chairman, interparliamentary relations and diplomacy. Vice chairman, labor and employment. Also vice chairman of trade and industry committee. She was also a member of rules committee, members of committee on ways and means, member of games and amusements, and member of the committee on higher and technical education. Her robust experience in the legislative chamber of the country has been enriched by various positions and attendance to international conferences here and abroad. This include, among others, member board of trustees of the Philippine School of Aeronautics, Pilska, from July 2019 to July 2022. Member, Delegate of the Philippines at the Women Political Leaders Annual Global Summit in Iceland, November 2017. Also the, she was also the Philippine Delegate with the Committee on Tourism in the Observation of the Processing of Passports in OVD Kinegram, Zurich, and Centro Grapico Milan in July 2017. She was also the Philippine Delegate on the 139th Assembly of the International Parliamentary Union at Geneva, Switzerland, October 2018. She was also the Philippine delegate at the 108th session of the International Labor Conference in Geneva, Switzerland on June 2019. And also the Philippine delegate on the second Executive Council meeting and 12 plenary session of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly at Turkey, December 2019. She is also a member of the Philippine Air Force Reserve with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. She authored and co-authored numerous bills and measures, one of which is she played a role as one of the main authors of Republic Act 11694, an act declaring the Batanga State University as the National Engineering University. Palakpakan natin ang ating guest of honor and speaker. She was instrumental in passing into law our new Republic Act at Batanga State University. So maraming salamat po, Congresswoman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you our guest speaker, a through public servant, the pride of Batangas, and a friend of Batanga State University, Congresswoman Maria Teresa Maitet Colliantes. Please take your seats. Maraming salamat po, uh, Dr. Ronquillo, sa inyong pagpapakilala. Dr. Tirso Ronquillo, the University President. Dr. Charmaine Rose Trevino, the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Attorney Luz Viminda Rosales, the Vice President for Administration and Finance. Associate Professor Albertson Amante, Vice President for Research Development and Extension Services. Attorney Noel Alberto Umandap, the Vice President for Development and External Affairs, Dr. Philip Del Rosario, the Chancellor, BSU, JPLC Malvar, Dr. Expedito Acorda, Chancellor, BSU, Pablo Borbon, Lemery Rosario and San Juan, Professor Enrico Dalangin, Chancellor, BSU, Nasugbu, Attorney Alvin De Silva, Chancellor, BSU, Lipa, Dr. Christopher Conrad Tejada, President, BSU Faculty Confederation, 
Engineer Amando Plata, President, Federation of Alumni Affairs, faculty and staff of Batangas State University, graduates, parents and guardians, ladies and gentlemen. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be chosen as the guest speaker for the 54th commencement exercises of Batangas State University, JPL BC Malvar Campus. Graduation is always referred to as commencement, not to signify that it is the end of your college life, but to indicate that the end of college life is the beginning of a new chapter in your lives, an even more exciting chapter in your lives because it is the dawning, it is the beginning of your journey to the rest of your life, your future. Certainly, all of you would like to attain success in the directions that you will take from here on. From this day forward, you will all be given a chance to shape the future of this community and this country. Some of you may enter the workforce, others may open their own business, while others will pursue further studies to attain a desired profession. Whatever each of you decide, know that your actions from this day forward will affect all those who will be with you in this new journey and all those you will meet along the way family, both old and new friends, the Filipino people, and this great nation as a whole. It is fitting that this year's theme is expanding mandates for national competitiveness and sustainable development. The COVID-19 pandemic has truly changed everything as we know it. Yes, masks, and social distancing may be the most obvious changes, but we have to look at its effects on a deeper level. Its effects on businesses and on the economy cannot be overlooked. Micro, small, and medium enterprises were the most hit. Many could not sustain the operational cost of businesses, thus forcing them to close shop resulting in the increase in unemployment. This poses a particular difficulty for you, new graduates. With less opportunities for employment, the already competitive world will become even more competitive and cutthroat. But these challenges can also mean new avenues for success in your chosen directions. But fear not, graduates, this is where your BSU education and training will shine. This university is well respected and reputed to produce top-notch graduates. BSU has equipped and armed you with a degree and a diploma. But more importantly, with the ability to adapt to every situation that the real world will present. You must all find ways to overcome these challenges by expand, expanding your outlook and being innovative in the way we approach said challenges. Sa Tagalog, yan ang tinatawag na abilidad. At alam ko, hindi kayo kulang dyan. You can also use technology as a tool. Although the new norm provides for physical distancing, I feel that the world is even closer now. Actually, you are the best examples of how technology can be used to improve national competitiveness. Education through Zoom and Google classrooms was unheard of during my time as a student. But here you are overcoming adversity and defying the odds 
as graduates through the use of technology. In order to foster national competitiveness, one more ingredient is necessary, and that is good governance. This is where this representation comes in. Rest assured that I will do my, do my job as a legislator and ensure that only laws that benefit the country, the businesses, and the employees are passed. We must all work together in order for us to attain this collective goal of national competitiveness and nation building. Allow me to impart some words of advice that have served me well during my entire life. May these lessons bring you the same joy and rewards that they have given me. First, always bear in mind that the learning process does not stop in the classroom. Education does not stop in the classroom. Never ever stop learning. Continue to find ways to improve yourself. Consider your experiences, whether good or bad, as learning modules. By doing this, you will continue to grow and mature professionally. And this can open new opportunities in your journey to success. Second, success comes only through hard work and perseverance. Never confuse education for success. Education is just the beginning of your journey to success. Not all educated people are successful, and not all successful people are educated. It is hard work and perseverance coupled with continuous learning process that spell the difference between success and failure. Third, always be on the lookout for new opportunities. Do not be limited but what, by what is presently available. A new idea, a new concept in your profession or in business will be a big advantage in this competitive world. Imagine if you are the only one who can provide a certain service or product, so everyone will go to you. Fourth, always keep your relations with your family. As you race off in this new exciting world, it could be easy to forget about family. Keep it imprinted in your mind that they are your greatest cheerleaders. They will be the happiest in all your successes, and they will be the saddest in your failures. They will be with you through thick and thin. Fifth, put God in the center of your life. Let him be your guide and your true north, because all of your successes will not be possible without his divine love and intervention. Always remember that there is nothing impossible with God. He can make a way even if there is no way. Prayer to God is your best course of action whenever you are in a crossroad situation. And last but not the least, do not forget to look back. When you have attained success, whether as leaders of industry, great entrepreneurs, or even politicians, never forget to look back. Look back to the people who help you in your journey to success, your professors, your alma mater, your benefactors, your classmates, your co-workers, and more importantly, your parents and family members. Remember that you could not have gotten to your place in the sun without them. Look back to your community also, your barangay, your town, and the country that so lovingly embraced all of us. And upon looking back, reach back as well. Extend a helping hand to all, especially to the underprivileged, so that they too may get to where you are. 
At this point, may I request our dear graduates to stand up. Face your parents and give them a round of applause. Thank you. Please sit down. As you leave the hallowed halls of Batangas State University, please remember that you carry the prestigious name of this institution. Wear it with pride and rest assured that you are going out to the world armed with the best quality of education. I wish you well, graduates of 2021-2022. At sana ang hangin ng buhay ay laging paayon sa inyong mga magagandang pangarap. Congratulations, dear graduates. The future beckons. Be brave, be bold, forge forward. Be the best that you can be and make the most of your lives. Mabuhay ang graduates ng Batangas State University, mabuhay ang ikatlong distrito ng Batangas, at mabuhay ang ating inang bayang Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Congresswoman Maitet Colliantes. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Indeed, our backstage graduates will approach challenges and find ways to hurdle these challenges because they know that hard work and perseverance coupled with the learning process that does not stop will equip them in life's challenges. Thank you very much, Honorable Maria Teresa B. Colliantes. At this juncture, we shall award a token of gratitude and plaques of recognition to our guest of honor and speaker. May we request our university president to present the plaque and our vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Charmaine Trevino, to read the text. The plaque reads, Republic of the Philippines, Batanga State University, the National Engineering University, JPLPC Malvar Campus. This plaque of recognition is awarded to Honorable Maria Teresa V. Colliantes, District Representative Batangas, 3rd District, House of Representatives, 19th Congress, whose demonstration of outstanding dedication, magnanimous support, and inspiring words as guest of honor and speaker effectively highlighted the university's vision of expanding mandates for national competitiveness and sustainable development. Given on the occasion of the university's 54th commencement exercises, this 15th day of August 2022 at Bath State U JPLPC Malvar Campus, Barangay Poblacion Malvar, Batangas. Signed by our university president, Dr. Tirso A. Ronquillo. Last July 11, 2022, just recently, Batanga State University was formally declared through a ceremony as the National Engineering University. And uh, in that ceremony, we also recognize individuals 
who in one way or in another help Batangas State University proclaim as such. One of those individuals who really supported Batangas State University achieve that declaration is our guest of honor and speaker. And because of that, our Board of Regents passed a resolution to commend, to commend uh, our guest and honor and speaker. I will read the text of the plaque. The Board of Regents of the Batangas State University, the National Engineering University, through Board of Regents Resolution Number 63, Series of 2022, awards this plaque of recognition to Honorable Maria Teresa V. Colliantes for her unwavering support and steadfast efforts, instrumental to the passage of Republic Act Number 11694 on April 11, 2022, declaring Batanga State University as the National Engineering University and for judiciously embracing the initiative of shaping a new vision for engineering education in the country. Given on the occasion of the ceremonial declaration of Batanga State University as the National Engineering University at Batanga State University, Rizal Avenue, Batanga City. Signed, yours truly, University President. So, Congresswoman Maitet, allow us to present this to you as a token of our gratitude. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause to our honorable guest speaker. That was the plaque of recognition for being instrumental in having us declared the National Engineering University. Thank you very much. At this juncture, we are requesting our university president and guest speaker to present the diplomas, certificates, and medals. They will be assisted by the campus registrar, Mrs. Charito V. Aquino. We have Engineer Joel Cornejo, Industrial Engineering Instructor, to present the graduates from the College of Engineering. It is my privilege and honor to present the graduates from the College of Engineering. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Avelio Irame F. Amorau J. Mar C. Arasa Rona F. Arena John Patrick C. Atienza Benedict B. Asuela
Decía Giselle L. Envile Munet. Flores Dale Spencer V. Genova Hannah Sairin L. Gonzalez Kate Laihana M. Gonzalez Mary Grace M. Gonzalez Jelson Mier D. Gonzalez Jovi Ann S. Guerrero Micaela Angela M. Guevara Aireli. Halili Lane Kaisel M. Hernandez John Mark A. Tusada Christian Emmanuel M. Lanceta Shaira D. Lanchita Mark John C. Lacerna Dieter B. Lat Mark Jonel B. Lat Erin Dominic S. Lat Maria Frances G. Lintan Sherwin M. Lopez Mark Angel E. Lorenzo Rachel Bon B. Lucido Ann Rose Janine O. Malabanan Timo L. Maliksi Justin Ann M. Malbeda Ruby N. Manaig Nicole N. Manalo Jomer L. Manimtim Katrina May Palikpik Marina G. Pelayo Joseph Renan S. Peniranda Princess Pearl P. Perez Georgina Sen S. Piamonte Gemma F. Polito Jeneline M. Ramos Mary Krish P. Ramos Jim Patrick G. Resio Jelica M. Reyes Henry Joe E. Reyes.
Sangalang Joshua O. Tabing Patricia Isabel D. Trinidad Michelle P. Tuisa Kathleen Rose B. Valencia Darlene R. Villaluz Rances April R. Villegas Elen Joyce M. Bispo Denise H. Yamaro Darika T. Saraga Marjorie M. From Bachelor of Science in Mechatronics Engineering, Alconcel Mark Anthony I. Amante Oliver A. Ananuevo Alan Christopher S. Aragdon Elaine Jane R. Atanante Ben Rose D. Atega Rupa May S. Baryon Matthew L. De Silva Christian Harvey R. It is with great honor and pride to present to you the batch 2022 graduates from the College of Teacher Education, Bachelor of Elementary Education, Balba Janis C. Cum Laude. Cuarto Trixel F. Dagus Gian D. Cum Laude. Deleus Genevieve D. Cum Laude.
aplaude. Gladys M. Cum laude. La Luz Trisha H. Cum laude. Lianes Pael C. Cum laude. Malaluan, Patricia Carla T. Cum Laude. Umali Joyce Ann C. Cum Laude. The graduates of Bachelor of Physical Education. 
Adalia John Marvin D. Achenza Ira G. Achenza Laika Jatel P. Cum Laude. Barao Elionel Mark P. Contreras Ana Maris T. De La Rosa Alia Shaira F. Cum Laude. De Cepeda. Congratulations, graduates. This is Liwana Tsi Rubico, faculty of the College of Teacher Education, will now present the graduates of Bachelor of Secondary Education. It is with great honor and pride to present to you the Batch 2022 graduates from the College of Teacher Education, major in English, Araha Monilin M. Cum laude. Capistrano Aprilin M. Cum laude. David Francis Kennedy M. Cum Laude. De Castro Josel D. Cum Laude. De Chavez, Jane M. Cum Laude. De Mayuga, Nori. Nori.
Villanueva Maisel C. Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. Amo Mariel M. Magna Cum Laude. Pilocchio Angie A. Cum Laude. Kapuno Sherika A. Cum Laude. Manalo Michelle M. Cum Laude.
Ramon, pero Vernalyn D. Cum Laude. Terrible Rafi G. Cum Laude. Abigail D. Cum Laude. Karandang Aryan Cum Laude. De Leon, Angela D. Cum Laude. Garcia, Crisbel Catrina D. Cum Laude. Sulit Cum Laude Maceda Brian A. Cum Laude
Miranda Erica May H. Magna Cum Laude. Carino, Rachel, and M. Cum Laude. Castillo, Diane, Daria, D. Magna Cum Laude. De Chavez, Liza May S. Cum Laude. Factor Arya Ginel F. Cum Laude. Laika Joyce R. Manalo Dairus Braza Magna Cum Laude. Maranan Aryan V. Marqueses Evelyn R. Cum Laude.
Congratulations, graduates. Technology will now present the graduates from the College of Informatics and Computing Sciences. It is my pride and honor to present to you the 2022 graduates under the College of Informatics and Computing Sciences for Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, starting with Alberto Parl Ivan C. Anshado Rosemary S. Arcelius Renzel M. Asis Kier K. N. Attention, Jeric M. Avila John Paul A. Calderon Patrick P. Kampang Cristel L. Casipit Estel Ann S. Cinco Maria Eloisa C. Contreras Cel Angeli A. Ella May L. Linga Danica Rose N. Makanan Paul Simon T. Villegas Kim Ives D. Andang Marcus Andre R. Casul Angel Daphne L. Chavez Jan Paulo W. Contemplation Christian R. Custodio Mac Andrew D. Dalisay Mark John Paul G. Desepeda Ella May P. Encarnacion EJ A. Entaya Edward John F. Enriquez Neil Ian G. Espenida Rovilin P. Estelendres Rea L. 
Pavilara Andri M. Gabuat Sairil Jan G. Gonzalez Charis Joy G. Gosa Jomor L. Herrera Borian M. Hotalia Neil Patrick P. Ilagan Jacqueline N. Jimeno James Denzel N. Lat Albert Paul V. Lat Vincent D. Leguis Jose Miguel B. Leonida Euros N. Lescano Bianca Maris M. Diwag Antoinette R. Lopez Anway T. Makandili Kamil D. Magampon Aaron A. Regala Maria Joy D. Rio Florido Romil C. Rivera Emmanuel M. Sapalaran Chris Meriday. Sayat Chan Lester V. Sebastian Jan D. Tavion Jeremiah S. Torres Mark Francis F. Trinidad Saira May P. Valdez Christian Kyle. Valencia Jomari L. Valencia Mylin M. Vasquez Ian Christopher S. And Visaya Joshua E. For Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Major in Service Management, Aguilera Micaela C. Barcelona Rutzel L. 
Tamento Nicholas John M. Como Kenneth. De Castro Milet Jubel M. Escamilla. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of the College of Industrial Technology. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, major in Civil Technology. Arcilias Drexler R. Karingal Billy Joe C. De Los Reyes Rani R. De Sagun Laikame L. De Silva Limuel M. Gonzales Edward Brian M. Hernandez the Third Alfredo B. Lamano Jomari M. La Rosa. Jan Carlo M. Marasigan Patricia S. Cum Laude. Medina Arian M. Natividad Edmark M. Perez Ferry D. Ramirez Erica F.
Castillo, Bjorn D. Clavio, Erika May D. De Castro, James Romeo M. De Omampo, Ronnie M. De Paz, Zando E. De Salit, Jean Lisette M. De Villa, Joel F. Cum Laude. Domingo, Wilmar C. Yulen Jean Andrea A. Lanting Charmaine B. Lianes Jonel D. Lumbres Jerome M. Lumbres Michael M. Loñosa Micaela. Malabanan Jerome Aaron Randall L. Miranda Joshua O. Morcilia Hazel R. Ofrin John Gabriel R. Rivellosa J. L. Rivas Janica May T. Valencia Cyril Ann K. Cum Laude. Valencia, Mary Rose Ann S. Valioso, Hazel Ann G. Velasco, Luis Joan R. Villanueva, Ryan C. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, Major in Electrical Technology. Alangilan Jericho M. Alcaraz Rudel D. Almanzor Cheme A. Amurao Christian B. Aranyes John Christopher S. Barion Zomar V. Bobadilla Ronel P. Bravo, Justin Kennedy H. Consulta, Renz O. Costales, Mark Jason M. Egia, Abigail M. Endaya, Princess Ira R. Enriquez, John Paul S. Florendo, Renz S. Aurige Rose Ann B. Lim Shanin Loren M. Lintan Karen May P. Liadone John Paulo V. Maikes Mark J L. Maligalig Danli T. Manalo John Gibson T. Masupil Lloyd A. Mercado Laika L. Octa Maria Areli B. Ramos Aljon B. Regente Lexer M. Ronquillo Raymart P. Tolentino Jack Daniel A. Torres Mary Joyce Nina D. Veloso Marvin A. Villa Pando, Nina Rica A. Villaralbo, Kim T. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, Major in Mechanical Technology. Alcantara, Edward Joseph B. Azuela, Alejandro H. Atienza, Jordan Errol M. Austria, John Paul M. Baga, Daniel M. Bernados, Joseph A. Briones, Aubrey Geno D.
Santos, Jeffrey M. Kaponpon, John Cell M. Cesario, Edric P. Kuwasay, John Lawrence P. Dayao, Aristotel S. Gabay, Homer G. Garlitos, Brian S. Gison, Siljan B. Ilagan, Aaron Dave L. Lagare, John Michael D. Latayan, Chris J. R. Mabaga, Kim Edsel L. Madrid, Ace Lester A. Mahagway, Arwin M. Manalo, Mark Angel C. Manzolim, Charles Christian F. Masangkay, Lindley R. Mera, Anjo M. Mitra, Danilo. Monte Alto, Demuel C. Montiano, RJ M. Montiano, Elmerson O. Opeña, Mark Deo R. Panganiban, John Paulo M. Pedraja, Lynette T. Pesigan, Mark Nico D. Rodriguez, John Derrick D. Sandoval, Rina May L. Villanueva, John Paul S. Bachelor of Industrial Technology, Vocational Training Course, Major in Electrical Technology. Gomez John Francis F. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations once again to our graduates. May the diploma that you have in your hand symbolize your commitment to continue to live the ideals of your university. Again, congratulations. At this juncture, Ms. Georgine O. Daginotas, a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in mathematics graduate, and magna cum laude, will deliver the message of gratitude. faculty members, parents, and fellow graduates, good morning. Have you ever asked yourself why you've gone this far? Have you checked if your goals or plans were met? Or you just found yourself going with the flow? Truly, we may have planned for our path, but we ended up in a totally different situation. Actually, this was not my plan. I never intended to attend this university or even enroll in a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in mathematics. Because who wants a career in which they say the salary is not enough to cover the expenses? Plus people belittling the teaching profession. Who would dare? However, I did. We did. And if you think that we are crazy, we are not. We are called to this profession, or we much rather called a vocation, and it took us a lot of courage to answer it. That is why I am proud of all teachers out there and of those who will be in the future. And for other graduates, engineers, COMSA and IT professionals, and industrial technologists, thank you. Thank you for answering your call. 
we need you and all the other professions for the community to work. Our journey is not a joke. In fact, it was a rough one. We started as the pioneers of K-12, and in the middle of our college years, everything became virtual. It has become a challenge for everyone to cope with online learning. How many times did we leave the virtual room because the internet was, was disconnected? How many classes were disrupted because of the noise? Ingay sa bahay. And how many instances do we need to record the same clip all over again because a few chickens won't keep quiet? At some point, we all experience this. But even though we all face hardship, we nonetheless found time for laughter thanks to our classmates and friends who make our life or our college years memorable and manageable. Now, we will finally be able to harvest the fruit of our hard work. All we did for the past years contributed to what we will reap today. Our efforts become our soil, our tears and sweat water their passion. Our failure provided us a space to grow. Our classmates and friends made the environment bearable. Our teachers supplied the light. Our loved ones gave us a breath of air and four years for a fruit to bloom. It is a relief that we can now call ourselves graduates. But this relief also comes with a new fear. We are all afraid. Afraid of the uncertainties of life. May trabaho ka na? Isang tanong na kinatatakutan natin. Our first job is the hardest because it is the beginning of everything from nothing. We are all starting a new chapter where we need to start learning again. And now that I've started my first job, I'm thinking of quitting. But I choose not to. I am struggling. But who says it will be easy? The hardest part is laying the groundwork of our career. So expect it to be tiring. But despite that, always look back to the reason why you started. And for those who are still finding their first job, do not wait for the door to open. Learn how to knock. Knock so that the people inside know that you are there. If the first one does not open, then try the second, the third. Keep knocking on doors as many times as you can because you won't know unless you try. Never give up knocking. Be persistent and determined. Because in life, we cannot get what we want in a single snap. There are processes that we will go through and we need to trust the process itself. And always remember, you are already a victor. Four years ago, we all doubted our capabilities. At school, during exams, school activities, and especially research. We experienced exhaustion, sleep deprivation, and even self-doubt. But look at us now. We are wearing our togas. The beginning is always a question mark, but the end will be a find that. You may encounter challenges, but never give up, because you already won so much. You did even go through a battle only you are aware of. You did it. You can do it again. And even if we, fa if we fail, we can still stand because our failure makes our achievement even more remarkable. And these failures hone us for who we are now. Allow me this opportunity to thank the Department of Science and Technology, the Batangas government, my sponsor, Uncle Ver, for the financial assistance. And thank you for all the people, including everyone here, because your taxes made it happen. Thank you, my classmates, SIP Nayers, BSN4A, my batchmates, and my teachers for teaching and helping me what I should learn. I may, I may not mention you all, but I am grateful. Salamat sa aking pamilya. 
kinamamat papa sa aking kapatid, kin ate kuya bunso. Thank you so much for the love and support. I love you all. And sa aking kaibigan na maagang lumisan, Marjorie Ann Nataliano Agno. Graduate na ako. Graduate na ako. Na, graduate na kami ni Tin. And above all, I thank God for the wisdom and blessings He has given me throughout my life. I did not plan this, but He did. So let me pray for everyone. Yes, Lord God, we praise and honor you this day. Guide each one of us to the path you assigned us to. Give us strength, wisdom, provision, and courage as we go through our next chapter. And before this ends, can everybody raise their right hand? Put it over your heart. Feel that that is called purpose, and you are alive for a reason. And that quote is from Joyce Mayer. The Lord's plans for you are perfect and always the best. Learn to trust and have faith. Kapit mga kapatid. Because we are all gonna take a new ride. It will be risky, but it will be worth riding. Congratulations, Red Spartans. Keep fighting. Keep soaring high. God bless everyone. Thank you. Mr. Darius B. Manalo, magna cum laude and Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Social Studies graduate, will now lead the Pledge of Loyalty. Graduates, please stand. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. With wholehearted gratitude, I pledge loyalty to the Batangas State University, the National Engineering University. That grants me the honor, rights, and privileges. Attached to my graduation, I further pledge that I will sustain its corporate vision to the best of my ability and intention and be proud of it. I will remain loyal to everything that the university stands for and to the ideals it upholds. Finally, I pledge to maintain the dignity that every graduate of Batanga State University, the National Engineering University, holds up high with pride and humility. So help me God. Engineer Amado A. Plata, Bat State U Federation of Alumni Association President will now lead the induction of the graduates to the Alumni Association. Let us now give the time for the alumni oath taking. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. Sa mga parents, congratulations. Graduates, ating palakpakan ng ating muli ang ating mga parents. Sa graduates, best of luck on your new beginnings. And the next future in order to be successful, just commit your life unto God. Yan ang aming, at in the, in the next future, kailangan makita ng Batangas State University, lahat kami, kayo ay lahat ay maging successful sa buhay. Tama ba ko doon? Okay. 
So, alam ko, in your journey, sometimes may setbacks, but the word resilience must adapt in your life. For our alumni out, itas natin ating kanang kamay, at sumunod sa akin, I, a new member of Alumni Association of Batangas State University, the National Engineering University, do hereby solemnly swear to the best of my ability that I will discharge faithfully the responsibilities of my membership in this federation, uphold and defend its constitution and bylaws, do justice to every member, consecrate myself to its objectives, and be forever loyal and true to my alma mater. Once again, graduates, congratulations. Congratulations once again, and thank you, Engineer Plata, for inducting our graduates into the Alumni Association. At this point, Dr. TJ Panganiban, our Grand Marshal, will conduct the Levites Chorale and lead in singing the university hymn. All please stand. Thank you very much. To the graduates, please remain standing until the end of the recessional. To the parents and guests, please remain where you are until the callers and the university officials have exited the premises. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the exit of the callers.
ladies and gentlemen, the exit of the colors, followed by the university maze and the university officials. Once again, congratulations everyone.